listening to this without seeing the video is going to be like, what the heck is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to um, a miserable dawn and a miserable day. AKA <laughs> sunny old England. Well, you know what? I don't even think I'm ready for that yet. Instead, I just want to walk into my newly furnished lounge collapse and do nothing but the truth of the matter is that is not an option because i have got a busy day ahead of me today you see every item in this room needs removing to allow me to transform this space into the place where my girlfriend is going to be giving birth to our child in less than three Days. So the telescope has got to go. My tripods have got to go. And this 10 ton table has got to go. But unfortunately, I do not know where. But this all sounds like a problem for future Tom. Because right now, current Tom is heading out of the house, into the rain, and off to B&Q. And I can't quite say this weather is the right driving conditions for this car. But hey, who doesn't love a slip and slide? So let's get going. Oh. At our destination. Oh my gosh, this this is just not it. This is this is not it. Poor bloody trees lost all its leaves. And I'm about to leave a bloody barn in. And let me guess, I picked the trolley with the wonky wheel. It's usually always the case, but oh, don't mind if I do. One pound bucket. Absolute bargain. Okay, BMQ. I'm here for a reason. And that is tarps to throw down on the floor underneath the birthing pool. Thanking you. I am now outside in the work yard where I am picking myself up some tarpaulin sheets. Because you remember that massive table I said I need to get rid of? Well, I've got nowhere to put it except outside my back door, but that means it'll be in this weather. So I'm thinking this will keep it clean and dry. And then once the baby's arrived, we just bring it back in. Because come on. What's the worst that could happen to a glass table during a storm? Well, I guess we'll soon find out. Now, next up in will this fit in Tom's car? I'm assessing this heavy duty trunk to basically house all the tarps once I'm done with them. Because from experience, I'm so used to having tarps just all over the place, getting wet, blown about. But if you just store them in something, just save me so much fast. So we'll take it and find out the hard way if it fits in my car. Uh, not sure how I'm gonna pull this one off. But do you wanna see a magic trick? Fit, 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 fit. Yes! <laughs> Go on, boy. He's only gonna do it. Who said this thing isn't a daily driver? Look at it, it's got loads of room. Okay, maybe the black bucket didn't fit, but I do love a good passenger. I absolutely love this thing. I'm so sorry, but hey, listen, man, where there's a will, there's a way. And I got it home, A-okay. Oh, I didn't realize I bought a multi-purpose vehicle. Ah! Now, you're not gonna believe it, but I've not actually got everything I need from B&Q. No, 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 no. There's an even bigger item that I need to go back for, but I can just genuinely not fit it in that. So we're dropping all this off, saying goodbye to the beast, grabbing a separate set of keys and heading straight back out. But this time in that bad boy. And oh boy, is it chilly in here. But back to me and here we go. And I was shocked to the slightest that it's still absolutely pissing it down and oh my, whoa, that says Vindig. That gust nearly took my trotters off. Right, let's assess the room in here by measuring it. Mm -hmm. to guesstimate whether or not this package will fit. So take two. I'll be needing you. And also one of you. Yeah, not kidding. Do you remember the actual lazy spa that I bought and gave away to one of you guys? Well, I'm actually back to buy another because this is what Lydia is going to be giving birth in. We've spoken to the midwives and they're like, yep, it's A-OK -okay and it's actually a good idea because it will regulate the temperature of the actual water. So rather than me constantly topping it up with like cold water or hot water, this will do the job, and then from that point on, we're on a lazy spa. Ooh, that's heavy. And you know what? I'm 99% sure from giving the last one away, this will fit in the Defender. I'm also throwing in a cup holder and a headrest. Because <laughs> why not? Now, I was about to walk away when I noticed that the accessories were three for two, so I might as well get an extra one. And I've picked up an all-in-one tool set. And you might be like, Tom, why do you need tools? And I'm just going to throw this out there as a thank you because the amount of guys who come in saying, Tom, I had a home birth, and I need to let you know now, if you're doing a home birth, you're going to want to collect the floaters. That's right, because when Lydia's huffing and puffing inside there, you're trying to get everything out of your system because you're trying to push a baby out and uh, poops pop out. So I decided to buy myself a human pooper scooper. Thanks for the heads up, boys. Poolman Tom is ready. 
ready for service. I'm also picking up some Gorilla Glue. Don't worry, this is not for Lydia. But you'll see why I need this when we get home. And that's it. We're getting home because it's time to put this in the Defender. Oh my gosh, this wind is going to slam me into someone's car. You can hit the Defender, but not that guy's corset. Christ. All right, I think this will fit with ease. Oh, yes. We're not with it. How you doing? Oh, honestly, I turned around, I saw him just smiling, he was so lovely. Here's a fish bump. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you guys. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was so lovely. Okay. <laughs> So the spa fits, which is a great success, but that was so nice. There's just a, a, a young lad that I met with his mum and he was the nicest guy. He came up to me and cured us for a picture. I was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. But he was so blooming nice. And he was like, watch all the vlogs. And he's like, have you posted your new vlog yet? Oh, shout out to you, Alfie. Thank you for watching the vlogs. Oh, I mean, I'm cheesing. It was so lovely. But okie dokie Jones, it is now half past six. We've got to get this hot tub home, get the birthing room built up, and on our way back, grab Lydia a McDoodles. Oh, if you thought I was getting in that drive through you have another thing coming. I went inside and picked it up. And I zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 ho, home. And hey, up, look at that, it's like a mother's meeting in there. Hey, up, she's coming running to the door to get her food. Yeah, all right, fatty. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you think of this? I love it. Oh, good early. Yo, oh, <laughs> so let's get some hats on. Let's get some hats on from behind the forest. Chada! I am man. I provide spa. And no, she's not happy with me. Why are you not happy? Well, I didn't. I'll get the receipt and prove it. I ordered you a McDonald's cheeseburger with nothing on it, just cheese and meat. We'll be in the bag or something. Okay. You no, know, you've just seen the receipt. Try to call me out here. See? I did get it. Where is it? Cheeseburger, plain. Not my fault. Shout at Ronald. Sorry, you didn't enjoy it. Nice to see you anyway. And when I get back, clearing out the room and building the spa. Hey, and look what I got. Oh. It's not just no. any Gorilla Glue. What kind of glue is it? Wood glue. Aha! And tada! I'm at the grapes to join Kenneth after his bike ride for a bit. Don't ask about the outfit change. I went for the shiniest coat I could find. <laughs> Whoa! I thought I'd not let you go empty handed this time. Whee! Are you still sticking to your bet? Thirtieth. No, me and my sister. Thirtieth, definitely. So it's not going to come out. You'll be filling this. It's not going to come out on the twenty fourth, no. which is a Tuesday, and no. you're riding on a Tuesday. No, 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 no. It'll be the thirtieth, mate, and you'll be filling this one. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> to be coming in, Dad. <laughs> bye bye, Power Ranger. <laughs> Turn around. Look, you look really cool. Oh my gosh. He's had a shocker. And so have I wearing the world's most reflective coat. Look at that. <laughs> Mate, I love this thing. I don't even think I need to shout, Honey, I'm home, because she could see me a mile off. The unidentified shiny object has entered the building. Hello. If I did the maths right on the sound, she's in here! I thought you were carving potatoes? But it appears you have obtained apples. What are you making? Apple crumbles. I would say lovely, but I don't like fruit. <laughs> I'll eat it. I'll eat it. You don't have to eat it. Oh no, she's cooked some of it and I do have to eat it. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine. It's only a tiny bit. It's sour. It's not. It freaking is. No, it's not. <laughs> the eyes don't lie. Come on then, give me an entire spoonful. A no, full spoonful. I'm not wasting my filling on you. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll straight face it. Come on. You ready? I'll give you no reaction. Blow it, it's hot. It is sour. No, it's not. <sighs> Why did you make me waste it on you? It's so delicious. I can't wait to eat the final thing. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> that is sour, by the way. That is sour. Oh, it's delicious, that. It's sour. It's got like half a bag of sugar in it. Doesn't take away the fact that it's spicy. It's <laughs> not spicy. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Guess what time it is? Projector time, a new episode of Loki on Disney Plus on that wall. Yes? Should we tell people why you were so sad?
Yeah, it's not there, though, I suppose. Is it ruined your night? Well, I'm determined to fix it with a projector. Is that okay? Mm. Do you want a hot chocolate or anything? Mm. What can make your life better? Do you want me to order you a cheeseburger? No, I'm not Do you want me to get you a cheeseburger? Apple crumb will be ready in 26 Are you months. sure? Don't be sad. I'm not sad anymore. Are you sure? I'm just tired. Oh, you want to nap? Maybe. <laughs> she was so sad. And you can't be sad. I didn't even know if I fancied a McDonald's and then when it was broken it made me You want a Domino's? Do you want me to order you a Domino's? Not you want a Domino's? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you want Domino's, don't you? Yeah. Would that make you hungry? I've got you some chicken wings. I don't want to. Oh! Do you want garlic bread with no tomatoes? <laughs> I fucking knew it! I'll order you a Domino's. <laughs> Look at that now. That's how you get a smile in. Food. What do you want now? Oh, you could go for a dessert, couldn't you? So you want <laughs> garlic bread and chocolate dessert. Yes. So I'll order that on Domino's whilst we're waiting for the projector to turn on. What a Friday night. Right. Your snacks are ordered. However, we have 6% battery left on the projector. Hmm. Don't worry. I have a plan. I do have a drawer full of extension leads, but the IKEA light that I bought the other day is about to come in clutch. So I'm not sure if you guys will remember, but I had a bit of a failure the other day when I was setting up this light underneath here because da -da 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 -da, it's powered by USB. However, it turns out I didn't need the USB because I already had a plug socket with three of them in, meaning the extra single one I bought was redundant until now. So with that and an extension lead, plus a micro USB cable, we now have ourselves a power source. And I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna need this, which is a Sonos Move wireless speaker. It's base for power because shocker, the battery's dead. Once it's online, I should have the capability to turn it into Bluetooth mode. And the survey says it's charging. Now all we need to do is see if we can connect the speaker. And for clarification, we don't actually need this. It's got a speaker built into the actual body of the projector. Honestly, incredible device. But I want to see if I can get that working. It's searching for Bluetooth speakers. It looks like it's in discovery mode. Oh my gosh. It says, con it says connected. I was really not sure this was going to work. It still might not. But here we go. Lights off. Let's see the projector. Oh and if we turn all the lights off, look at that. Please work. It works. It works. And it's in sync! Oh my gosh, it's actually working and it's synced! Woohoohoo! Oh my gosh, it sounds so good coming out the Sonos as well. <laughs> and it gets even better because what did you get? <laughs> she got a garlic bread with no tomato sauce, so she is a happy Lydia. Loki is over. Lydia's made her way to bed because she's feeling she's feeling tired, but she's just said. She's feeling a feeling that she's not felt before. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is code for the baby's coming and I need this room emptied ASAP. So with the power of movie magic editing, we reach for the sky. And we fall back down to the room looking fairly empty. Give or take some gas tanks that I've kept in here for some reason and the table that needs taking outside. It has now been brought to my attention that we might actually use the table and oh, look who's here to join us. She was in bed. She was sleeping because she didn't feel too good. And then she woke up a bit upset and wants me to come to bed, but I was on a bit of a tidying mission. So she's here. And now for some reason she's tidying as well. Our next steps are to organize all this stuff we bought, like the sheets that we're gonna hang from like the sides of the ceilings, along with the lights, to make this an absolute mood. Now before anything can go down in there, we're gonna need to access our tarpaulin box, which uh, I've now formally named this. And I think the fact that I bought two of these was a good idea. Cause whilst Lydia's giving birth, she's gonna be splish splash taking a bath. And instead of the water just going straight onto the floor, it'll go into this. Now I'm going to need a knife to get into this Morris & Co. Totter and Tumbler playmat. Playmat. And are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. The playmat floors are no, they're not that. Don't even think it's somewhat of a green thing. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the opposite side. Lydia bought some magical ones, which um, oh, it just peels off. Which uh, you uh, what's it called? Reversible. reversible, yeah. Yeah, reversible. Please don't cut the mats, Tom. I'm trying. 
New playroom playmat. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Beauty. Go. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Stay. He's not listening, do you? Uh, uh, uh. Here's a gas canister I found earlier. Stay. I've got to admit, that is one of one talent I have got. Finding the right item for the job. Oh, look at this. Matt numero one. Do, 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 oh, that looks do, so do, nice do, with the flooring, yeah, doesn't it? Nice. Very nice. Lovely. We've also got another one of these. So we're going to put that in the room. So it's a nice comfy thing for Lydia to be able to sit down on and go, hey! And I have more cardboard for Andy. Yeah. I now need to locate the next box, which contains the second map. So even more cardboard. I feel like I'm playing a video game. Fire! <sighs> Matt, number two. Sorry, Andy. We appreciate your services to Jellyman. Very nice. They act as a nice runner through the middle of the room, which is like the purpose of them once like the nursery sort of cabinet playroom thing is built. But again, this is not the side we're gonna be keeping. It's the other side because it's reversible and then it'll look much lovelier. But moving on from the mats, Lydia now looks like she stood in a Dexter kill room, but it's coming together, right? It's coming together. The glass table, which I was going to put outside, which I bought the tabs for, turns out we might actually keep this in here uh, for one, putting the baby on and the nurses to have a table to work on because I think that is one of their requirements. And now, rather than going to bed because Lydia was down here 20 minutes ago, like, come to bed. <laughs> We're now actually doing the room. We are such night owls that I think a baby's going to be perfect for us. So should I go and get the hot tub just to see it for scale? Oh, we put, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taps down. Taps down first. Tap one is... Down. And is like... It's like an onion. Onion tab layers. Shrek's down. When our child sees this, they're going to be like, what's wrong with you guys? I think we should, we should label this like an informative how-to set up your birthing room. <laughs> For legal precautions, this is, this is not legal baby advice, but... Tap one is down, that's like a waterproof layer. Yeah. This is now tap two that we can just like whip out of the way in case it gets like muck all over it. Oh my God, my heart is actually just racing then. So we were just putting the tap down, which is, is looking lovely, it's getting there. Lydia just went, <gasps> and then like thought she felt something and I was like, oh my gosh, I thought a water broke. I'm not even kidding, I, I genuinely thought a water broke. My heart is fluttering like a mother trucker. My watch is gonna pop up being like, do you need medical attention now? Everything's A-OK? -okay? Whew. And tap number three is down underneath Lydia's feet. Now for the next cover, which is down. Now for the moment of truth. Does the hot tub fit? <sighs> and out she goes. <laughs> and for my next task, give Pregnito the camera uh, where... You'll notice he's slightly out of breath because it's been... Do you know how heavy this thing is? Man versus packaging. Heck. Oh. Um, it did look big at being cute. <laughs> but you bought it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is already way more on point than the big... Look at, look at what was going to be in it. No offence to NHS for providing this, but... Bright blue. I know, I will say, I know we're being picky and can afford to be picky, but... It's more, it's your pregnancy. You you only get this one first pregnancy the first time around. You can have it your way. No, no but I was just going to say, I do think it's incredible that Tayneside offer, that, offer this service for yeah. free. They don't, oh, yeah. they don't charge you for the pool or anything. Nope. They just drop it all off. Wow. Okay, so I can inflate it. I'm just going to have to go and get the inflating machine built. I'll be back in 10 hours. Oh, gosh. So here's what I found earlier. What the hell? Look at that. Ooh. You know, the one thing I will ask is, I wonder how loud it's going to be. Well, we've been to like, like Chris and Hannah have theirs on when there's parties and stuff. I don't know. Oh, no, absolutely. Like, but outside. Obnoxiously loud. Mmm. <laughs> Look at it though. It's got a full system on it. So we'll be able to control the temperature and stuff. Yeah. It's exactly what we need. Go and read in the instructions. <laughs> Mate, honest to God, this entire book looks huge. And the size of the drawings are made for ants. This is this is not as simple as I was thinking. Not gonna lie. Okay. Moment of truth. If I plug this into here, like so, and just press. Ooh. Oh. 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 It lit up. That's a good sign. And then it says. 
press this, or maybe turn it on. Does it touch me? Why are you sleeping? Wake up! Wake up! Wow. <laughs> I don't think I put that attachment on properly. I don't either. <laughs> it wasn't it. Max and Jerry are good. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. It's fine. Bloody hell. That seal was not secure in the slightest. I love that we didn't take your laissez faire approach of, oh, I'll just set the birthing room up while you're in labour. Yeah, no, I'm definitely glad I'm practicing this because if this, this was X amount of hours before, and this would be. Maybe it's I think it's supposed to do that. Maybe it's pulling air in and pushing it. Oh, it's going up. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a relaxing birth right now. Oh, I can't wait to bring this baby into the world. What? What are you calling it? Shut up! I'm just guessing this is normal, by the way. I think it's like, I think it's what? Well, it's coming up, so we can't really complain, can we? Impressive, right? Look at that. Oh my gosh! Go on the bad boy! I can't believe I was questioning whether or not it was working or not, because look at it! It's absolutely zooming! I will be honest, I don't know if it stops itself. I think it would make sense for it to stop itself, but again, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it definitely didn't say like stop, 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 but I just got to a point where I was like, this seems good enough. I've then inflated this like seat thing in it as well. So great success. And now I believe I take this attachment off, which was like the pump to actually pump, pump it up and then connect this via this into this. I am now connecting the pipes. Hello down there. <laughs> Job looks like a good one. And as far as I'm aware, baby, it is built. It's three o'clock in the morning. Are we going to bed now? Yeah, we, did tomorrow. Uh, we go to bed and then make this room look nicer from a decoration standpoint tomorrow. This is very baby arrival DIY. But in all honesty, I know it's gonna sound really random. I love the idea of having our baby, our first baby in our home. Cause I just think that's, I just think it's magical. I think it's lovely and less stressful than rushing all the way to the hospital. But you could say, you know, sure on the other foot of like, if we have to rush from here to the hospital, but the one really good thing is we are only like a 10 minute drive from the hospital. So if anything, for whatever reason, needs us to get over to there, we will do, but we're gonna make this room look lovely and it's gonna be great. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. Oh. It's Saturday, I'm feeling fresh. And it's probably because it's 10 past one in the afternoon. And yes, I'm only just waking up. So let's make our way downstairs where I believe breakfast is served. Hello. And is there anything better than a brew and a chicken butty with crisps? The pinnacle of a healthy man. <sighs> and breakfast gets better. Thank you very much. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Is this what Wes and Becky have got? Something similar? This is, this is different. This is the sterilizer. It cleans them off. Oh, and yes. Do you know when Alice and Cal put it in the microwave? Yeah. Or in a boiling pan of hot water. Yeah. Cracking! Oh, happy days! Brilliant! We're not get day by day, it's getting realer and realer, this, isn't it? <laughs> All right, welcome to the behind the scenes of trying to decorate the rest of this room, and this time we have help! Woo! Welcome to the behind the scenes of how we're going to make this room look beautiful. I ho, I ho, it's softer work we go. <laughs> Lovely idea, to be honest. It worked really well, that. Hopefully these hooks will hold. Yeah, yeah. I'm 18 this way with yeah, two yeah. curtains. <laughs> yeah. We're now building bins. Our uh, Vic put it together and I'm now tightening it. Ooh. It's, it's quite nice. Having the right tools for the job. <laughs> and just like that, job. Done. The lights are getting there. And I now need to build these steps or shelves. Multi-purpose, I guess. It's a bit more complicated than Lego. Ah. 
it would turn out that I've put this on backwards because that angle's supposed to be going that way so that it's flush on the floor. Sorry, can I just say, the cot that you built, Whoa. you put the back on the floor. <laughs> I'm really good at Lego, I swear. The rocking chair that you built, you put the legs, the, the, the rocking bit backwards. <laughs> Tom, I think you're great, love. Hey. <laughs> Time to reverse steps 10 till 6. Great. Gotta love a drill. Problem solved. And for my next trick, Lydia, guess what? what? Oh, you said you wanted some shells putting up. Oh. And I'm obviously too busy to be able to do that. So, we have a can. Great success. How are you doing? Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello, my friend. Come to my house. Okay. Okay, let's go. Right. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, let's go. Very what nice. do you think of the sofa? Very nice. Yes? It's a toy room. This is definitely a toy room. <laughs> now, we've made your job easier. This is where they're going. All right. And these are the shelves. Oh, you made it very easy there, haven't you? Ah! Yeah! yeah. You're impressive, aren't you? Frog tape. Go on, the boy. I've just walked in to finish building the shelf. <laughs> and it's like, I was having like an hour buddy experience, like, where's the shelf gone? Big bring it back, it's not finished. It's just gone off with it. <laughs> right, that's gonna have to wait because priority now is being Ken's apprentice once again. Immy thinks it's time for a time lapse. Great success. Dad did just say though, after we've nearly got them all mounted, he went, are you, are you sure they're the right way around? Because you cannot believe how this is just supported off the, like two little screws. Because Dad was like, it's not an actual like coat hanger, is it? You know, like flip it upside down and then like you hook coat, coat yeah. hanger, anything onto it. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> surely not, right? <laughs> Lydia? <laughs> I've Googled it, they're right. He's gonna know. <laughs> We're, ta we're taking a secret to the grave and we're not telling anyone about it. Do you know Ben? <laughs> Let's just hope these shelves never come down. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you do, you have to build the other ones anyway. You don't, you don't make sure they're going to back, you? This is probably one of the funniest moments you and dad have ever shared. Yeah. We're just like, just fuck up. <laughs> oh, Ken, they're absolutely belting, lad. Beautiful! That's why you get yourself a Ken. Do you like your shelves? I love them. Hey! And whilst Ken's here, we're making the most of him because Lydia has kindly asked. I've left. Dad, please. Ken has left the building. No. There's a cook, an extra cupcake with your name on it if you help put that painting up behind us. Painting? Picture. Yes, yes. Oh, that's more like that print. Very good, very nice. See, Ken's doing all the, the practicalness of it, and then Lydia's doing all the zhuzhin of uh, making it look cute. Ah, ah, <laughs> and I can't believe we've been in this room this entire time. And neither of us have pointed out that view. Wow. Jellyman has got one hell of a room. Oh, Lid. That's so cute. Oh. Are you even my father? Right, do we need to do any DNA tests? Because I've been studying. It's questionable. What? <laughs> we might need to do. Whoa, hold up. I belong to the milkman. Ken. And I said the DJ, not the milkman, but go on. Oh! Will you just look at that view there? I just think, Hashtag, hey. just look at that view. Dude, how many days is it now? Less, less than three days. No, mate. Well, we stood here. Ten. No! I can't, I will not be able to cope if this goes over. If it goes over the due date, I'm going to be like anxious. See, these will fit in the whole way. That's what she said, it's honestly. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we're, we're having a moment. Look, this is my workspace. Wait, I got a light. Look, and I've started my collection of random bolts. And have you got a pin? Yeah. So what we're looking for now is the other pin it's for that, because this is going to hang up the painting on the wall. Oh, crikey. Let's play I Spy. Go, 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 go. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Yes? Found him. Yeah, great to be. <laughs> now listen, Dad. Size isn't everything. That, that... What's it called again? You got a tape measure. What's that? That's a lump on. That. That's a spirit level. That spirit level's way too big. You're overcompensating. This is just right. <laughs> so you're telling me you came to my house, not with all the tools. I'm lending you a tape measure. 
Right, do you want me to go and get the toolbox from outside? No, no, no. It'll cost extra. No, no, no. If no. I have to bring another toolbox in, it'll cost you extra. Whoa! We'll go a double rate on a Saturday morning. Three cupcakes? Saturday afternoon. Crikey! Ken can fix it. Yes, he can. I'm not even saying can he fix it. It is Ken can fix it. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Is it in the right place? No, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I'm not being responsible for this. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Did we do it right? What are you, what are you doing? There's a knot in the way. Oh, it's not happening, is it? Way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, I was hoping you did. We can always lift it up if we need to. Oh, look at that. Lovely. And are you ready for a very bold statement, Dad? Go on. Because of you coming round, putting them shelves up and that painting, yeah, yeah. the nursery is officially done. Ooh. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. I've actually got one more thing I need to do. I need to secure this pole in place. Hence why I bought the Gorilla Glue wood fixture glue hopefully that makes sense and before i could even bat an eyelid ken is on it what a man what a man job done job done da, 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 da. let's get this gear out of here now are you now ready for the statement again dad now the nursery is 100 percent complete <laughs> super granddad hey can you believe once dad you were kicking down that door and jumping me whilst i was streaming Just and now point. <laughs> this very door, and now, <laughs> and now this is where my baby's gonna grow up. I love my dad. Just, he's just uh, awe-inspiring, man. Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Come and have a look what my granddad's been up to. It's so lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm bringing it down. I'm just, I'm just getting, I need, I need getting all your credit on camera. Cupcakes. <laughs> Cupcakes. The rat's ready for your nursery's it. done now, babe. Oh, no. The nursery is done. Have a nice day now. <laughs> Payment accepted. Thank you. Have a nice day now. Look at this. I've got to go prom. You think I finished, don't you? Thanks. You think, you think I finished? I've got to go prom. Right. It's away. It's cupcakes now. Thank you. I've got to put all this gear away and eat cupcakes and then eat cupcakes. Thank you. With a gin. In front of the fire with dog and Gail. Have a nice day, Tom. Bye, Grandad. You're welcome. Bye, Grandad. Don't phone us, we'll phone you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I expect to be the first to know. Oh, you will be the first to know, trust me. See you later, mate. Viva la Ken, he's gone. Which means I can finally get on with building this shelf. Two hours later. And with a big... <sighs> I finally built it, but I am not happy in the slightest. Where, where, where is it? Can't find it, but here's the picture of the screw that snapped as I was trying to install it to put like the, the strengthening bracket on. So now the entire thing will wobble because I can't attach this on and the rest of the screw's stuck in there. I guess it is what it is, but at least it's done. And it needed to be done because it's a part of the puzzle of the birthing room. And if I'm right in saying so, I think it's going in this corner. Oops, the wrong way around. Like so. Yay! One removal of a Guinness World Record later and it's in the corner. We just won't talk about this hole. So, honest opinion. What do you think? Do you like it? Is it a nice, moody vibe for you to have a home birth in because i think it's lovely oh i kind of like it i like it a lot and now the shelf gets filled with stuff lydia said what's your favorite jelly cat will put it on the shelf and i picked the uh the grumpy turtle <laughs> <laughs> or tortoise even my apologies right the work doesn't stop there lydia for some reason has specifically chosen this chair to sit on inside it's an outdoor chair but for some reason this is this is exactly what she wants so i'm just happy to cater to that but it's a little bit wet so i have a plan to dry it with the help of my compressor. But that's gonna have to wait a second. It is uh, now nearly seven o'clock at night and I am, I'm like shaking hungry. So Lydia's made me some stew and dumplings. Thank you, like, I'm actually shaking. Mm. That's really good. Nothing out, <laughs> like testing the hot tub beforehand. Should, should, we, should we get the projector on in here and <laughs> enjoy a movie or something? And I've been sent off into the garage for some batteries for Lydia because uh, like I said, she's now gonna put her like 
c'est je ne sais quoi onto the room and make it look all good so she's got all the like the smelly things in there and all i need to do is just provide the batteries and here's two i found earlier look at that she's got a polaroid camera and now it is my time to dry out this chair Doing all sorts of things to get it dry. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. All right, you know, I've a throne. Uh, we need some cushions on it, but a throne. Ooh, and it does smell good. Look at this, she started to throw a bit of everything on it. Oh, we got like a, the birding cards, we got the camera, the neons, the smells, the, the more candles, <laughs> world's longest matches, and then a bunch of baby stuff down here. And here's a cushion I found earlier. Great success. And for my next mission in the Manly Man garage, I have been given a big bouncy ball and I'm going to attempt to inflate it with that. And you know what? I think it's going to work. Yes! It's alive! Um, it, it is alive, but we got given this off a friend and unfortunately I think they forgot one key ingredient. <laughs> the, the plug's up. They did say they thought they were missing something and it turns out they were. <laughs> Thanks, though. I'm just quickly interjecting this into the vlog because I think you agree with me. Since we ever got this LVT floor or whatever it is, the underfloor heating has never felt so good as it. So like when it was a carpet, it was cushiony under your feet, but you couldn't feel the warmth. Whereas this, this is only set to 22 degrees and you feel it. It's so, it's so nice. I'm actually a bit loath on it. I know, it seems like a waste, doesn't it? Oh. Now to make this chair look less like garden furniture, <laughs> just chuck a throw on it. Take a seat. Wow, look at that. <laughs> throw a throw on it. Yeah. Lydia will make this... Pro oh, oh! And breathe! <laughs> That's how professional my help's going to be. People do this, don't they? <sighs> Boof! <laughs> now, we're going to attempt something. You see all these holes around the room. Well, we're gonna try and cover them. And Lydia suggested we try a bit of arts and crafts. So <laughs> bear with us. We're gonna do some drawing and some writing and we'll see how this goes. Don't stop your breathing. Remember to inhale and exhale. <laughs> now this one was a bit out there. It's in the rhyme of Mary Poppins. So a mask full of oxygen makes the baby come out. I was like, hmm, not sure about that one. And then I went for teamwork. Makes the dream work. Aww. And you can tell he's got better handwriting than me. Mine and Lydia's uh, catchphrases, ape strong together. You go, Glen Coco, and you can do it, put your back into it. Aww. Three-year-old, 30-year-old. Now, I've got to say, they work way better than I was expecting. I was like, is this going to look a bit cheesy? But the colours we've used are actually quite good. Yeah, she did limit me. Yeah, <laughs> This is what you're allowed to use. We're not having any blues or anything like that. But look, see what makes a dream work. Honestly, I don't think you'd even know there was holes behind them. Like no. these are so good. Aww. We're gonna we're gonna do some I more up these walls. Crafts. Yeah, it's we're, our touch on it. Oh, this is that they look lovely. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh baby, I'm getting really into this now. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I love that one. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. What do we do? We push, push, push. A little, little Nemo. Are you ready for Guess the Movie? <laughs> Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. If you can guess the movie, well played. And then love actually is all around. That's really nice. That's a good one if people get that. Cause I didn't get that off, off the bat, but yeah, that makes sense. I really like this one I've done. Yeah, that's so Adventure good. is out there. I couldn't risk drawing the house because I probably balls it up, so I just did a balloon. I've got to give Lydia props. You can tell she's used to like making up classrooms to look dead nice because look how the, like the way she's laid them out. I just do them in a straight line and she does like stuff like this. Look how nice that looks. Because doing it like that makes you like completely think like which one's actually got a hole underneath it. <laughs> you never know. And then there's mine over there. I love it. And this is This has come together. Like, just like I was hoping. It feels like a comfortable home for us to have our baby in. What did I mean by just say as well? Oh yeah, we, the lady we did like baby birthing classes with. What did she say? She said, I've got to read this. So the one where um, 
we went and we were doing like breathing exercises and stuff. Yeah, just call maternal matters on Instagram. And we sent her a picture of brilliant. this. Um, yeah, so Abigail said, that has to be the best birth space I've ever seen in my entire career. Ah, <laughs> oh, get out of here. <laughs> she put, I think the midwives will be blown away. Oh. Midwives love a good cuppa and snacks are always welcome. Because I said, what else can we do? Yeah, yeah. what can we do to accommodate the I said, the we midwives. can always accommodate snacks. Oh, easily. Yeah, we got that down to a T. <laughs> snacks for days. Look how good this is, though. Like... You're in there chilling in the lounge. Then when you need to give birth, you're in the pool. And if you need any food, we've got everything. You need drinks, we've got everything. It's just a vibe. Now, because that room's set up in there and Lydia's on the phone, I've got a bit of time to myself. And as you know, in a previous vlog, I set up over there my uh, PlayStation so I could just like game out in the corner. Well, for some reason, I've just decided I want to play the game Starfield and I completely forgot I've got an Xbox X. So I've got my console set up and superquick.com installing it. Look at that, I'm already at 33%. I'm considering this an absolute win. I know it looks absolutely crap, but like when my office is fully set up, I'll do that. But I kind of like just casual gaming. You know, I've got this like stupid fold out table, but it, it does the job, you know what I mean? Like, then then Lydia's not like, oh, you just go off in your office and you're out the way sort of thing. It's, I, I consider this social gaming, even though when she talks to me and I'm concentrating, she she might as well be speaking French because uh, I am not paying attention. But come on, Starfield. I am praying and hoping that this game is good because I would well have preferred an Elder Scrolls new title. Like, I do not care about spaceships and firing lasers or anything like that. I'm about, all about being an assassin with a bow and arrow and just messing shit up. But I am ready to see what it's like to be a spaceman. Rocket man! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not gonna lie, I want to like this game, but all I do, instead of getting into shootout fights with people, is just walk around searching items, like moving like this, looking behind cupboards and finding things in the game and all i swear i'm looking at is things three feet away from me to the point where i'm just a bit like yeah i the early start game of that is just not for me unfortunately it's nice to try it but didn't really get as hooked into it as i thought i would but it is what it is but what i think we're taking away from tonight is this is a job well done you excited for your birth day but it was technically a birthday what what have you seen? Teamwork makes a dream work. Teamwork made this dream work. Aww, I love it. I think it's adorable. Yeah, I really like this. This is a mood. This is an absolute mood. And I love it. Do you know what else I love? The fact that it is the next day and oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And I think it means it's time for a bit of a drive. So vroom vroom goes the vehicle. And we're not just going on any drive. We're going on a long drive. Which means we need some fuel. And oh boy, do we need a lot of it. Woo! Spicy. Okay. Are ready for a bit of a road trip? Montage! Or a sign that said spooky world this way. No! Yeah! Come on! Come on! I'll get the baby out. Fuck off. They probably will. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I think we might have arrived at spooky world because it is smoky as all hell. What is going on? Oh, there's a fire! Oh no! Is that house okay? Oh, I think there's just burning rubbish materials. Uh, boring. No! So, we're not going to this place, but I kind of wish I was. Can you show them that sign? Oh, it's a racetrack. <laughs> Instead, we're going buying plants. No, we're not. What are we buying? I don't know, we're just going for a move. We're going for a move. We'll don't worry, we'll show you where we're going. Just stuck in traffic. And we have arrived at our destination. Actually, you know what? This is not actually our destination. This looks like a polo ground. It is indeed Polo Cheshire Club. And that is not where we need to be. Instead, this is. And I'm glad I bloody parked at the Polo Club. Look at the state of this place. Ooh. This looks lovely. I don't think I've ever been here before, you know. The Hollies. I'm going to guess Tasha introduced you to it. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, what a shock. Somewhere fancy, nice, and I love it. Oh, it looks busy. Oh, oh, it looks very busy. Um, it would appear the queue goes all the way out the door and round the side. 
Oh, I think we'll leave the food till afterwards. Oh, and instead we'll go in the barn shop, which also has a queue to get inside. I've got a feeling we should have come in a defender. Because I'm going to want to take all these. So close, yeah, so far. And we're in. Christmas has arrived. We've made it three feet into the front door and she's already found something she wants for Christmas. Yeah. Lads, rest in peace my bank account. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You know, my favorite thing about Christmas this year is that we're gonna have a child with us. I think it's just amazing. I think Christmas is the most magical holiday till this day. Seriously, it's my favorite out of all of them. What a vibe this is. I feel like I'm at like a Henry VIII banquet or something. <laughs> a gun collection shall grow. This time it's got big hair. No, not the vibe. I can't wait for our child when we tell them the story that around Christmas time, the gonks invade the house because we've got like 20 of them. That's the keeper. And we're going to play a game with our kid being like, you've got to find all of them. And if you find every single one of them, you win a prize. So one more gonk goes to the challenge. And Lydia's picked this up. Oh, that's quite nice. Merry Christmas. You know the whole thing of we don't need more stuff. <laughs> Remember that statement? We both said we don't need more stuff. But show them. It's very unfitting with the no sofa. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh oh no. She says we need four. There's only three. What a shame. There wasn't enough. Why are you still getting them? <laughs> so into the farm shop we go. If you are a vegan, I'm sorry, because oh my gosh, this looks lovely. Just throwing this out there as a random.com. If you ever want the best steak sauce in the world, this is it. It's called SA Sauce, and trust me, it is next level this one particularly. The inner caveman inside me is just drooling at this. A tomahawk steak with black garlic. Look at that. Oh. And I'm going on the record now saying they might be the biggest tiger prawns I've ever seen in my life. What on earth? Some kid literally just went, look at those lobsters. And I was like, lobsters? And I looked. I and I'm not even gonna blame him for making the mistake. They are gigantic. Now, I decided to pick up a wine, and you know me. I only pick my wines off the label. Not what it actually is. Good choice. Yeah, it's such a pretty This name. is called Let It Be. And I thought it was cute and luckily it's a Merlot, so I'm having it. It was to save the bees. Oh, it was save the wasp and it could get fecked. But now for the not so fun part. Which was paying, but what did Tom manage to do at the checkout with eight bags, right? Let me show you. Three of which were just cushions. Which bag did I decide to drop on the floor? The one with two mug mugs and three pot reindeers. And how much did that cost us? An extra 25 quid on top of it. I had a fucking chocolate. I've had a cracking time. Get it? <laughs> I, didn't even mean to, I, didn't, I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. I think that was the wine. Oh now, I feel like we're a bit behind the scenes and not supposed to be here right now, but apparently, ah, there's a gift shop. Ooh, this is lovely. Ooh, very nice. Into the gift shop we go. What shall I break this time? Just gonna walk away from all these mugs. <sighs> now I know why Alice came here. Oh my gosh, there's jelly cats everywhere. <laughs> what the frick are you doing there? There's some random cut out copper in the corner. Hello, hello, hello. Now we're done with the shopping and we found more food. And I am all about this. Look at all these cakes. <laughs> They're brilliant, I love them. I'm really struggling at this point. I cannot risk spilling this coffee all over our stuff, but Holly's, is it called Holly's? The Holly's, what a place. And yeah, I'm starting to think we really should have brought the Defender instead, man, because storing all this and getting this off the grass is gonna be fun. It's taking everything in my power to not go Tokyo drifting around this car park, but it is what it is. Time to make some magic happen. And I've got to give a shout out to this lad. I'm 99% sure he's called Jacob, but I'm gonna call him Danny because he looks just like my childhood best friend, Danny Bigwood. I cannot freaking believe it. What a top guy. Just took this lovely picture as well of me and Lydia at the end. So my friend, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate that a lot. Yeah, and your partner, we think it was your girlfriend. Sorry if I've made this awkward. She was lovely as well. So hey, thanks for watching the vlogs. Appreciate it. Now we avoided the dinner rush queue and we picked ourselves up some sausage rolls from the farm shop instead. And we're gonna give them a try because apparently I did pretty damn good. So picnic in the car, it is. What are we saying? Yeah? Ooh, what did you get? She got hog roast sausage roll and I got chorizo and red pepper sausage roll. And the survey says, mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. That's really good. Mm. Not as good as yours? 
That's more traditional. Mmm, I do love a bit of chorizo. And yes, I'm eating it leaning out of the car. One second. Because everyone knows sausage rolls are the flakiest foods in the world. All right, snacks over. Home time. Lydia just wants me to try this hot chocolate first it of all. Delicious. Really? Holy crap, one of the best hot chocolates I've had. That's good. I think I might buy some hazelnut syrup to go in our hot chocolate. That's good. That Very good. Very nice. Driving home montage. We are home. Good adventure, baby. Good recommendation. And oh my gosh, there is something at the house, which is not for me, it's not for Lydia, but it is in fact for Jellyman. And it's a gift of Dandy the Gardener. So Jellyman's got the very own tree. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. And I love what it's in as well. Oh. Just think when Jellyman's my age, how big is this tree gonna be? Cause this is their tree, Andy. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And whilst we're at it, I'm really sorry for the amount of cardboard we seem to curate from this household. It'll stop soon. I swear. Look, at look, she's happy. She's happy. Oh, days like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's done some decorating. Oh, here we go. She's got her Christmassy cushions out. Why are the Christmas discuss discuss discussions? Cushions on display. I'm just playing. It's the bloody 22nd of October. Get out of here. Hey, I managed to find that fan you wanted. Nope. Yay! What the pumpkins in the box? Do we near it? Yay. This is a collection of pumpkins one of you guys sent in, and Lydia's going to use them for a bit of an awesome decoration. So, thank you. There so you go. Much. She was being all sad and grumpy on the sofa. I could feel it. She was like, "I want my pumpkins. I don't know where the pumpkins are." And I was like, "I have no idea where they've been moved to because when Syndicate Regional was down there, everything got flipped turned upside down." But I found them. Where were they? Happy now? There you go. Now, do you remember yesterday when I tried inflating these things and the air simply didn't stay in them because there was no plug for them? Well, no messing around Lydia ordered a new one and it comes with the plugs. So I have got this to inflate and did you order Crep Protect? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why the hell have we got Crep Protect? Lydia's got it for her trainers. As you do. Now, I need to pump this ball up, but it's the most suspect looking thing I've ever held in my hands on this vlogging channel. I think Orion now needs to add a blur to it and it looks even weirder. But one set of spread cheeks and a butt plug later. All right, time to blow the hole. Now, this will look even, even stranger if Orion puts uh, a sensor marker over this. But um, hey ho, we are off for the races. This whole thing just blurred. Why not? In this state, does it not look like I've just got a massive ball bag? <laughs> it's like that episode from South Park where the dad's walking around with a gigantic nooksack. And voila, the hole is plugged. One pregnancy ball at your service. Look at that. That's a bit better than a black or bright pink one, isn't it? Perfect. Now, this is very random.com, but it's like half past seven at night. And I'm like, you know what? I've got one last opportunity potentially to do a live stream before the baby's here because we've still got so much stuff that you guys have sent in that we haven't unboxed. We've got this bag and that bag in there and loads of stuff downstairs. So I'm going to set up and do a little bit of a live stream. So if you tune into it, hey, thanks for tuning in, but it's just going to be a dead casual, laid back, relaxed, because I'm a bit tired live stream, but I kind of like it. Chill vibes on the sofa, unboxing some stuff and chatting to you guys. So yeah, hope you guys like these sort of things. I did talk about previously how I would kind of like to do like a once a week just kick back chill talk about the week interact with the chat just for like an hour and then say sign hour I thought it'd be a nice like way to recap a week's worth of vlogs so yeah I think I'm gonna set that up in a minute just need to go downstairs and get all the stuff gonna need a sack to carry everything up with so are you ready jelly cat rain oh my gosh there are so many you wondered where they were they were all inside that and now with my empty sack I for some reason head to the sauna and fill it with stuff. Okay, turns out there was more than I was expecting. I did say to you guys, the PO box was closed, but it turns out in between the PO box being closed, 
You want still send stuff in? Hey. Uh, turns out we had a lot more stuff than I expected. You said there was just a no. sack of jelly cats left. It was, but in between, in between the PO box being closed, people still sent some more stuff. And just like that, the jelly cat Bonanza live stream is done. I honestly thought when I first went downstairs and found, you know, some of the jelly cats that I knew we had, I thought it was going to take us maybe an hour to unbox them. When I found those bags of extra ones, and mine imploded. It ended up taking us nearly four hours to open them all, chat with you guys in the chat, unbox everything to the point where it was just an absolute madness. Like, honestly, how insane was that? Look at Lydia. She's surrounded by jelly cats. There's these ones here. And, and you think it's just, oh, it's just the ones at the front. No, there's ones behind the ones behind the ones behind. Look, <laughs> there's a turtle. This is just mental. Blessed. Absolutely. Oh, we're stuck. We're... What, what's That's this? So wrong. What is that? That's the worst handheld I've ever caught on camera in our life. But yeah, it's got to a point now where it's nearly midnight and we and we cannot believe this, right? We thought it was going to take us maybe an hour to unbox because what we did, we did a, a, a one hour video with Alice and Lydia unboxing them. Oh no, it was two hours cut down to an hour. Then we did a four hour live stream the next time around. Then we did an eight hour live stream the next time around with a PO box. Then we just spent another four hours with all that. We didn't, we didn't open any jelly cats last time though. No, not really? at all. Yeah, we only did boxes. But then we've now still got all this and all that to go through. So that live stream that I thought was going to be the last PO box live stream because then everything would be opened. We've still got more. Honestly, I know I said it before I unboxed everything. Like you guys went above and beyond. But like you did. It's just the most insane. Look at this. We ended up opening one non jelly cat thing at the end. And it's this, this sick customized robe. From Charlie. I, I want one. I want that for myself. I tried to get in it, to be honest, on live stream. And look at this. Look, it came with this. It just mental. So even though I thought that was going to be the last live stream, it turns out we're going to need to do one more. And if you want to see, for whatever reason, the video of the live stream, I'll link it down below. So if you're going to watch it and skim through it, you can do. But it was just four hours of us opening jelly cat after jelly cat after jelly cat. But yeah, nearly midnight. Lydia is getting tired. And I just wanted to show you the remains of the dinner that we had whilst we were on live stream. Because when we went to the farm shop, we picked up some food, more particularly, we picked up ribs for dinner. And look at the size of the bones on these ribs. They were, this is the meat. Look how thick the meat is. That's actually still all edible meat. It just fell straight off the bone and we were so full from the two ribs we had. Look at, look, look at that. Look at the, look at the size of that. Unbelievable. But yeah, just again, I feel like when I do these videos, it's just you listening to me and it's like, it's hard to have the conversation back and forth. Like, yeah, you might see me read out a comment or something, but like, it's hard to have a conversation back and forth. That's why like when I'm live streaming, it is just absolutely mental to just have that one-to-one -one response with you guys. And I, what I do, what I do soon is work out a cool way to be able to do just a live stream chat and chill and catch up with you guys and have a conversation with it not being a PL box stuff. Cause then it is like, you know, fully focused on us, not just like me, Lydia, unwrap and like unboxing something, reading off a letter than was trying to read a chat. It's just a lot going on. So yeah, honestly, thank you so much for everyone tuning in. That that was just incredible. And again, thank you for everyone who sent anything to the PO boxes. I will just re reiterate, the PO box is closed. Um, so don't try sending anything. You guys already nearly blew up the lo local post office for that exact reason so yeah i don't want to get in any more trouble so honestly thank you you're the best how proud of yourself are you right now <laughs> she's got she's made me a little hot chocolate with the marshmallows you guys have sent in I'm taking a picture. <laughs> bet you are it's the little things in life look at that someone sent me a chameleon that's actually a chameleon that someone sent in look at the size of it it's gigantic kind of looks like sid from <laughs> did someone say baloney but do you not think it looks like sid from ice age but a chameleon version <laughs> I've had an absolute shocker. I spilt the hot chocolate all over the fucking sofa, under the sofa. Oh! Out of anything I could have not spilt, it was that. Wow, I've got to shout out this sofa. Honestly, the moment I saw the liquid spill on it, it just poured like straight off it, like beads of water and like a tent or a waterproof surface. But that was a full entire cup of hot chocolate. The moment it went, I knew exactly what it was. And I was like, oh, hopefully it's not going on the sofa. It went on the sofa and then poured off. I just reacted as quick as I could have just wiped it all off onto the floor to try and take care of it. But that was like worst case scenario or something to spill. If it was like 
a, you know, whatever milk when it goes off stinks so luckily it just ran off it and i think i've sorted the job i even moved the sofa because it went all underneath it and like the splash mark of it went well far but i tidied it all up and it is now quarter past one in the morning praise to lydia because she's actually going making me another hot chocolate and then i'm going to bed because i'm too tired for this shit honestly my heart sank then the last thing i should be drinking now is another hot chocolate imagine if i spilt it imagine if i actually spilt it can we all just appreciate what I said to you when I gave it you? What did you say? I said, don't forget about it tonight. Leaving <laughs> it right there. Because like, like, like a brew or a hot chocolate, when she puts it on the side, it might as well just vanish because I forget about it. Perfect drinking temperature. That's why I gave it you in hand and you went, don't want it now. And I was like, oh, it's going to be cold and you don't drink it cold. <laughs> I do. No, you drink a cold tea, but you don't drink a cold hot chocolate. Yeah, well, it's a cold chocolate then, isn't it? Enjoying your ball? Really? <laughs> Come on, Jellyman! Come on, Jellyman! Actually. It looks. I don't want to go. I, I was just yeah. There's a spare plug, so I could have technically put one of the other ones up. <laughs> Tempted. But it's now uh, ten to two in the morning, so I'm not jumping on any bouncy balls. Instead, I'm sending the Ryan all the footage for all the vlogs, and I'm kind of just coming to the realization that this was a very, very long vlog. Sorry? I don't know why I made that sound like a question mark. Like, that was like a sorry question mark rather than a sorry. But what a vlog it was. The room is looking lovely. The house is coming together. I may have caused absolute chaos at the end with the hot chocolate and just made complete mess with unboxing all the jelly cats everywhere. But what a vlog. What a vlog. If you're watching this right now, we are officially one day away from when... Jellyman's supposed to be here now obviously he can go over like that's the case it could be two weeks before he's here but i don't know man becky where's his baby the luca came out on the due date and they, they they weren't like oh yeah it's definitely happening you know, like the day before or anything like that but then on the day it was just boom there we go so you never know it could end up being the case that we do have a due date baby even though it's very very rare this room could be getting used tomorrow so as i quickly run around switching all the lights off like so Boop. tell you guys right here and right now to do me a massive favor and that is to leave a like crane on the video make sure you subscribe by clicking the big subscribe button a ding dong in the notification bell that way you'll get notified of when i post my next video and more so if there isn't a video uploaded on like one of these next days the chances are you could take that <laughs> As, a, as an understanding that something's going on and we may have a little <laughs> gremlin <laughs> entering into our lives, which is just mad. And up inside the nursery, baby mama's here. Hey, how's he doing? Does he feel like he's coming out yet? Does he feel like we're gonna see him? What do you think, tomorrow? <laughs> Look at them eyebrows. <laughs> What's mad? This is this is now one of the final times that you're just gonna be in here without the baby. Are you happy with your nursery? It's so funny because like we don't even stay there. Really, really, really. No, we've got months really until they'll be in here, won't they? Six what? It's, it's, so it's just nice. It's so. It's just go. It's cozy, isn't it? Room. Yeah. Because you feel like we have made a bit of a faux pas though. Because I feel what? like there kind of needs to be like two places for us to sit. Oh, no, I sat on the floor in the tent. As long as you don't sit, shout at me. <laughs> oh, we should get one of those in. What? We saw a bitch on those the other day. You know, the furry white bean bags. Oh. They could just, like, it could go downstairs if we don't need it. it Babe, this, this carpet's so comfy. Honestly, the baby's not going to be in here. I'll chill in here. Get a speaker in here. <laughs> we'll be vibing. Look at this, man. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw something absolutely terrifying in the form of a <laughs> me. But I'm doing it. I'm ending this vlog. It's going. We will see you guys again soon for our next video. Where at any point now, Tom's still holding out for his two-day countdown. I know. I've been like 
30 days, 20 days, 10 days, 24 hours! And, and, and I'm like, what, what is going on here? I have been waiting, okay? I have been waiting. I expect you. Come out now. You're not the most patient human. Come out now! I'm not the most patient human in the slightest. <sighs> Can I just show this picture? If it's me sleeping, no. But last night... Oh, is it? How did I know this? What is it? Last night... Yes. I think you could tell. I, I was really uncomfortable. And yeah, you were. You were restless as anything. Restless, and you didn't leave my side all night. To the point <laughs> what are you about to show? You pushing me out of the bed. But there's a pillow in between us. Yeah. And he's just snuggled so <laughs> close on me. <laughs> At one point, it was so lovely because you clearly could tell that I like. I wanted to comfort you. A bit. At one point, I had to be like, "Can you let me back in the bed?" <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like stealing a pregnant woman's bedding. Oh, yeah, it was all right. It was so <laughs> well, I'm glad you like the, the kind side of it, but right. <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work. I love you. I'm ending this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. ish for the next weekday vlog and don't forget if the vlog's late-ish then that's late-ish but if there is no vlog you never know you never know this house is fully about to become a home oh. <laughs> adios